Here, no, here's what she does, okay? He's lying. She will save up all the dishes in the sink until I come over, and then she'll be like, I'll cook and you clean. <laughs> Samantha, tell us how you made the jalapeno poppers. Okay. I did a block of cream cheese, did a dash of Worcestershire sauce, dash of hot sauce, um, seasoned salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So there you have it. Oh, Legendary jalapeno poppers. And, Check and them out. a little out. bit of Tony's. Don't forget the Tony's. Tony's goes on everything. I kind of do it different each time, so. The key is to use cooked bacon. Cooked bacon. So cook bacon like three quarters of the way, and then bacon in the oven. That way it's not greasy from the fat. All right, there you have it. Yep. Samantha's legendary jalapeno pop recipe. They're good. Check out what Samantha's up to. She's cooking dinner. Are you prepared for this? You better be prepared. Wait, are you prepared? Are you prepared? All right, Samantha, everybody's here. They're ready for dinner. All right. What, what you got going on here? We're making fajitas. Fajitas. We're doing fajitas. Yep. Got some zucchini. Sizzling in the cast iron. Get some good color on them. Zucchini from the garden, if you're wondering. And then uh, bell peppers I'm going to cut up, onion. And here's the chicken. Chicken breasts. Those are those iguana breasts that she cut up the other day. <laughs> I don't know if they're pterodactyls, iguanas, some type of dinosaur chicken. They're tasty. They're good, yeah. but I'm sure they got some kind of anabolic steroids in them. <laughs> uh, bell pepper. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? They smell really good. Yeah, and then for dessert, we got some strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. Samantha's got it all in the skillet. It's skillified. Can you smell it? You waft it in. All right, what are you doing now, Samantha? I'm getting fixing the maple homemade salsa today. Well, after work, avocado, cheese, cilantro, I think that's about it. Funny story, my Those mom's got green. a cilantro plant in the backyard and the horses ate it all today. It was, my dad let the horses in the backyard not have to mow the lawn and the horses ate the cilantro. We got squirt and sour cream. This is a cilantro trick too. If you fill a glass up, like just a little bit with water, then you buy the cilantro and you cut the ends, you know, a little bit, put in the glass and put a bag over it and it keeps for a long time. Wow, that's a good trick. Yep. Mine would have gotten brown and yellow a long time ago. Ooh. From the garden. Everything was from the garden except for the onion. Those were my tomatoes. I'm proud. And jalapenos. Looking good. I got kicked out of the kitchen while Samantha was cooking, so I got to come out here and water the plant. So Samantha moved her, her garden front to over here from over there. Well, she moved most of it because it was getting too hot and it was turning yellow. See? So we're trying again, trying to let it, like, sun comes by, not get so much sun. I think the pots were heating up and hurting the plants. She's got quite the orchestration going on here. You can see. Check it out. They're like running up the side. She had them running up the fence over there. It's quite the orchestration. That way Marley doesn't get into them. So he likes to mark his territory on the plants. Got the ball, Marley? Got the ball? Marley loves to play ball, but every time I throw it, I don't know if it's a territory thing, but every time I throw it and he goes and gets it, he brings it halfway back, he drops it, and he pees on it. And then he looks at me. Fetch over at that time. Game over. I'm not playing ball anymore after that. So that's why we usually have a, a one throw limit and I throw it with the shovel over there because that's all he does. You just water the garden. Just got them all watered. So I just want to take a second and say that our hearts go out to you guys out there in Dallas, Texas, and all you, the police out there for the, it was crazy last night. We were sitting there watching it on television. It was like all of a sudden it just started happening. And we literally watched it until like two in the morning. And uh, we really couldn't believe our eyes. Just the numbers that were coming in and the, co the cops that was getting shot. So our prayers are with you guys out there. 
and I hope that all this all gets sorted out and we can figure all this junk out. And I just wanted to go. I just wanted to go ahead and say that I try to keep politics and bad things out of this uh, YouTube channel, but that was one thing I just had to go ahead and say that our thoughts and prayers are going out to you guys out there, and I hope everything gets resolved real soon. With cooking the chicken. She's adding, what is that you're adding right there? Season salt, paprika, ground cumin, garlic powder, salt, and then pepper. Check it out. I haven't ever done this recipe before, so we'll see. Jack will eat anything. Yeah, I, I've got a stomach like a goat, and I'll eat just about anything. So she hasn't really thrown anything in there that I was like, nope, not eating. So I trust her. That's why I said that Jack Herval and that Benita is going to meet her skillet. And if she can't make it good, nobody can make it good. And we're going to find out. I'm still saying we're going to eat one. A lot of people have been telling me that you can't eat them. So i got to prove all these people down in Pensacola that you can't eat a Jack Creval or a Benita. And I, I think it was a legend that was created like a long time ago to say, oh, you can't eat them. And everybody just believed it. Nobody ever tries it. Yeah, there's other fish that are better. But I believe that you can make it tasty if you wanted to. Sometimes you've got to bust legends. And you've got to get rid of all these hearsay, mumbo-jumbo things that everybody else says that you can't do. Because nine times out of ten, people have never actually tried it. They just heard you couldn't do it. And you usually can do it. Guess what she's making for dessert? Strawberry shortcake. You want to see the strawberries? I want to see the strawberries. Macerating. Macerating? Masturbating. Masturbating. Say that three times fast. I don't know. They look good. Smell yeah. good. Mm. Mm. Got some whipped cream. This will be fun dessert. It's going to be fun. Fun and good. Fun and good. All right. All right. It's all ready. It's good and done. Check it out. You can smell it. It's still sizzling. It's still good. You even got a little fog on your lens now. Where's the plates? Uh-oh, we're doing plastic. We're doing plastic. <laughs> plastic plates. You can always do dishes. They're monotonous. Oh, he's lying Here, to you. Here's what she does, okay? He's lying. She will save up all the dishes in the sink until I come over, and then she'll be like, I'll cook and you clean. You know how that goes. Tell them. Tell them. It's true, but I don't do it all the time. She does it. The other day, they were like this high. And I came over, spent like two hours doing dishes. Oh, two hours. It was like 30 minutes, but it felt like two hours. Who cooks you homemade breakfast? Yeah, she's lucky she's a good cook. <laughs> and she kayak fishes, so. Oh, yeah. You got, you got a winner. Yeah. Yeah. She's not too mean in the morning. She's semi-mean. <laughs> Avocado is great. I'm a little weirded out by this. It's it's supposed to squirt out. Changed my mind, it's really efficient. Got some of this green stuff. Cilantro. Whatever they call it. Yeah. Alright, food trucks, eat your heart out. That's some good stuff right there. How are you gonna do it, Samantha? Mm. Little cheese, meat, cilantro, avocado, sour cream, and a little salsa. I put everything on it. Yeah, see she put more thought into it and put the cheese on the bottom. And I just stuffed it on the top and said, it's go time. Call it the man way of making a fajita. Just throw it all on there. Hope Jack's hungry. This is a lot of food. Yeah, I'm going to eat all this. I'm going to eat it all. I'm going to eat it all. Guys, First ready? bite. YouTube, are you ready? Mmm. It's good. I already tried the pterodactyl meat, and it was really good. You can see one bite is missing. So, the anabolic steroids they put in there taste good, and, uh, it's probably one of the best fajitas I've had in a long time, so. I know, it's homemade. It's homemade, everybody, it's homemade. You have to spend $20 on a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, we did it here. Mm. Check that recipe out, it's good. I ate four of them, okay? <laughs> no wasted space here, okay? All gone. How many did you eat, Samantha? Two. I ate four. I only had six, six uh, tortillas. Well, I ate them all. All right, so I couldn't end this video without showing the strawberry shortcake. So here it is. Samantha's making it right now. All right, got the shortcakes. All right, got the strawberries. And you just scoop them on out. Where's the sauce? It's in here. What's already in there? I thought it was like 
sugary, you like oh, thick. This. Is this your shortcake or mine? Wow, that's a lot of strawberries. With the sauce. It's Ooh. like liquidy sauce. It's like liquidy sauce. Well, it's sugary. I mean, I put sugar. Liquidy it. sugary sauce. All right. Do the whipped cream. Do the whipped cream. Mm. That's Jack's. That's mine. It's all mine. Enjoy. I mean, I'm going to enjoy. Going to enjoy. Definitely. I had to shoot this on my iPhone, so I don't think the picture is doing too well, but whatever. Cheers.